Hey everybody, this is Chan from Six Fog. I'm Stick, and today I want to talk to you about another piece of gear that I recently received in a package that I got from Joe at Z Packs. Now, I don't know if you've seen it, but a couple of days ago I posted a video about a bunch of Cuban fiber stuff sacks that I bought from him and how I saved some weight changing out some of my uh, stuff sacks for the Cuban fiber stuff sacks. Um, but today I want to talk about another item that I received from him. Um, I was really interested in getting a dry sack pack liner because um, I feel like I need a pack liner inside my pack now that I'm carrying more down. Um, now, he doesn't have any of the dry sack pack liners um, listed on his website that you can just click and add to the card and everything. So I emailed him and I uh, asked him, you know, I told him what I wanted and he got back with me and we came to a conclusion. And basically what he did is he gave me a price and there's a button that's a custom button on his site you just put in the uh, what what it is that you want him to custom make for you and how much it's going to be and then you submit it to your cart and that's how you go out and get that so I got him to go ahead and make me a dry sack pack liner now real quick I want to just kind of talk about the difference between a dry sack and a stuff sack before I go along now inside my pack a lot of my items are going to be wrapped in stuff sacks, which is simply this right here. This is actually one of the Cuban fiber stuff sacks that I received from Joe. Um, now the big thing is, is with a stuff sack, it doesn't matter what the material is made out of, this is Cuban fiber, it is waterproof, um, but this is not 100% waterproof because of the opening on the top. Since, that, since the top of this just cinches closed, there's going to be an opening in the top and water can seep into there, so it's not 100% waterproof. So the alternate to that, an alternative to that, is uh, a sack, a dry sack, which is the top that you actually roll down and then you uh, clamp closed. And that prevents water from seeping in and of course the material is what keeps it from seeping in around the sides. So I got him to go ahead and make me this uh, pack liner. Uh, now I wanted it to fit my ULA circuit which I have here with me. So uh, I told him to go ahead or I asked him if he could go ahead and make me one that was 18 inches wide by 36 inches tall and it was an envelope design style. What I mean by that is it basically it's just folding a piece of fabric over and seaming it around the edges and that's it. The reason I wanted that is because the design of the circuit, the bottom of the circuit actually tapers. It doesn't square out. So uh, I didn't want anything that was big and round at the bottom. I wanted something that kind of went to a point. So uh, he said that's fine and this is what he made me. So uh, just kind of show you this is, this is it that I've been holding in my hand. Now he made this out of the 1.26 ounce per square yard Cuban fiber. He'll make it in whatever weight Cuban fiber you want, but this is what I wanted. I wanted something that would be a little bit more durable, so I chose not to use some of the lighter weight Cuban. Uh, black is the only color that he offers in this. And as far as the closure, um, if you can see it, he's got two tabs here, which allows you to pull this open. And basically he's got a hook and loop closure that runs around the inside of this. And that's really neat because typically on most of your roll top bags, you don't have anything that actually seals it closed. You just kind of have to hold it and then roll it. But with this, I can actually Velcro it closed and then I can roll it. And then of course he's got a buckle on each end so once I get done, I can bring it around and lash it closed. Now another thing about this, Joe uh, sews his Cuban. He doesn't use tape. So I did have to uh, seam seal it. I used some uh, seal net to seam seal it and you can't really see it. But what I did is I stuffed my sleeping bag in this thing and then I just ran a bead of it down the seam on the side and then down the seam on the bottom. Now when I first got this thing it weighed 1.7 ounces and after I seam sealed it it weighed 1.8 ounces. So anyway, uh, that's the Cuban fiber dry sack and just in case you're wondering this is actually the same weight Cuban fiber that the uh, rain kilt is made out of. I have one of those and it's the exact same thing. So, But anyway, it seems quite durable. I'm very happy with it. I like it. And to be honest with you, it, quit, it fits perfectly inside my ULA circuit. So what I want to do real quick is I'm going to put my uh, helium, this is a Marmot helium. I'm going to put it inside here just to kind of open it up and then I'm going to put it inside the uh, ULA circuit to show you how well it fits in there because it fits in there so great I just got to show you. So anyway, I'm going to get right back to you and uh, just give me a second. As you 
can see, I, uh, I have the pack liner inside the circuit. And you can see here, that's, I don't know if you can see it, but this little tab right here, let's see if you can see that there. This little tab right here is the top of the stuff sack, or the dry sack. So here's the dry sack, and there's the top of the, of the pack. So that thing fits in there perfectly, just like it was made to fit in there. Uh, one thing I like about it, like I said, was the design of it. If you'll notice, the bottom of this pack, it tapers off, like I said. And the bottom of that, since that's kind of, it kind of folded together when you stuff the bag in there, it kind of opens up this way, so it's got a point at the bottom. So a point fits down in the bottom of the pack just like it should, and I don't have any wasted space. So that's cool like that. Another thing is, is it's 18 inches wide is what I, I asked Joe to make it. And by doing that, it's allowed me to still have full use of these pockets. What I mean is it's not bulging out into the pockets. That's the, that's the good size to have so that I got the pockets are just, I mean, wide open. So I'm not using up my pocket space. I'm not using up this pocket space. It just works out real well that way. But anyway, um, so that's the uh, Z-Pax Cuban Fiber Stuff Sack. Like I say, I will actually have my uh, helium I'll, or my sleeping pad, uh, my sleeping bag or whatever will actually be in another stuff sack and I'll shove it down the bottom and then shove everything else on top. And then I can just simply roll this down. I can just cinch that closed, roll it down and buckle it inside my pack and then I've got it there. Now, I don't have to have one this tall, but I like the idea of having one this big. That way everything I put inside my pack has the potential to actually stay dry instead of just my clothes or just my sleeping bag or or whatever I can have everything inside my bag dry so I like that idea and like I said for 1.8 ounces uh, you know if I were to cut this thing off and made it 30 inches tall I don't think I really would have saved it by another two tenths of an ounce or anything or three tenths at the most maybe so I'm really happy with the size that it is um, but anyway, I'm really happy about it. I really like it. I just had to show it off. Um, I think this thing is going to work awesome, and I'm really looking forward to uh, getting it out there and putting it through the putting it through trials and tests and getting rain right on. I do want to add one more thing. I do keep stuff in my outside pockets, so I'm still going to continue to use my z uh Cuban Fiber Pack Cover. I did a video on it a while back. You can check that out if you're interested. But I am still going to use that in conjunction with the uh, dry sack pack liner because like I say I put a lot of stuff my tent my rain stuff my fuel all, I put a lot of stuff on the outside of my pack and I really don't want to get that wet either so so anyway uh, if you have any questions uh, like I said just post them at the bottom of the, uh, the video here and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can but anyway I appreciate you for watching till next time see you later